Hello, my name is Samantha, and for those of you who um, have been watching my videos, I have been talking about credit acceptance and uh, my lawsuit. First of all, there have been some uh, people that have been coming on. I, I take it they are credit acceptance because I know credit acceptance is following me on YouTube because when we go to court, their lawyer, Stephen King, Stephen W. King always mentioned how I'm on social media talking about credit acceptance. So let's get down to the a point. First of all, I, ha I don't need nobody on my lawsuit. I don't need to beg nobody for my lawsuit because of the simple reason my facts and evidence and, and, and cases support itself. I, I paid my car note. I paid it. I paid it faithfully. And... Um, had it not been that check engine light that came on right after I purchased the vehicle, I would have never found out that I didn't have a warranty anyway. So let's talk about it real quick. I'm just going to go give you a brief scenario of what's going on. Um, the warranties that they have on pre-used cars, that first of all, it's a violation because it's against the law. You can't sell a warranty, which is a, a, a service, onto a contract. Second of all, it came out that credit acceptance is a debt collector. How? Because they, the warranty that you have that ha that's under different names, it is under credit acceptance. Credit acceptance financed their own warranties, and then they filed a claim against it, and then that's how, and then they deny you the claim. So that create hardship. Fortunately, you know what? I didn't. I, I wanted the warranty off my credit because it was not. It was not a warranty. It could not be found. They could not find it. They could not tell me who serviced it or anything. So that's where that came from. As far as me talk, somebody talking about my vehicle being damaged and all, no, that my vehicle was in fine tune. My vehicle, I, the papers, I made sure I had war, uh, oil change, all of that. It was the fact that they could not show me the warranty. They could not show me the exclusions of the warranty. They couldn't show me nothing about the warranty. Second of all, it was my payment history. They had given me a payment history the year before when we was disputing and when they went to court, the payment history was different than the payment history that they had given me. Plus, they didn't know where the warranty was, so they started coming up with papers that, that were saying that I had this loan, I had a, this warranty company, and on my contract, it was saying it's different. It, it's really a legal tactic, but you have to be able to know some kind of legal law in order to be able to find it. And and that's what I did. I found the law. Uh, second of all, you can dispute credit acceptance. And if you dispute it through a regular, like the regular credit bureau, and they refuse to fix it or change it or adjust it, that is a violation of the Fair Credit uh, Reporting Act. The Supreme Court says you don't even have to show that it's damaged. The fact that they put that wrong information on your credit shows that. So right now, like I said, I have some some uh, some um, trolls here uh, from Credit Acceptance. They're they're coming on and they're trying to discredit me and they're trying to say that oh I, I I I didn't know how to manage the vehicle and I didn't know how to pay my bills and I didn't know how to do this and I didn't. But I guarantee you, if, if I got evidence and I don't have a problem posting it, I don't have a pro I posted on my Facebook page, I posted it on my on my Instagram, I can show you where they have messed up. But now at this point, because the judge is about to make a ruling in my favor, then that's why they're posting now. If you notice, you know, I've been talking about my summary judgment. I've been talking about things. So now they're trying to discredit me by telling you guys, because they, they feel like when, I, when, when, when this is over with, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell y'all what, what happened, the good stuff that's happening. So now they're trying to credit, discredit me so that won't nobody come on and sue them. But I guarantee you, 99% of y'all got a case with against credit acceptance. The only reason why is that you haven't done it is because you haven't pursued it like I have. So that's my message. So anybody else that come on here and start talking about, oh, she she didn't pay her bills and all of that, she didn't, 
Okay, well then, why is it that credit acceptance is not on my credit anymore? Why is it that they're not on my credit? Why is it that every time I file some, your lawyers are, are sitting up here calling the courts, e emailing the courts, he's scared as a rabbit. Why is there all of that? I, you know, I just filed something, uh, uh, two motions today, abuse of process and something else. Why is it that he's so scared, you know, why is it that he don't even want to talk to me? He don't even want to talk to me. I, I told him. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. When y'all finish, like I said, my lawsuit contains uh, the dealer. The dealer testified against them. Affidavit is showing that other people was uh, had been a victim. It shows that I have a report from a, a, a great, credible people called Plain Sight. You need to go check out their website. Uh, and, and their uh, Twitter. It talks about in detail how credit acceptance manipulate people. So yeah, so like I said, this this is my video, credit acceptance. You know what? I mean, you can try to discredit me. You can come on my page and say anything you want, but at the end of the day, the evidence speaks for itself. And I did it. I did it. I did it. Your smart lawyer thought he was Yogi Bear, but I did it. I beat him. I beat him good. And that's what's wrong. That is why y'all on here posting stuff against me. But you have a great day, okay?